up, I call out a walk. I pray this devil died uh, and get every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Come your child. Come your child. Come your child. I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Black people on drugs and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. I'm reading what God is saying right here, man. Read, brother. Amos 5 and 21. I hate, I despise your feast. Hold up. I thought God was love. I thought God loved everybody, everything. What did the Lord say? I hate, I despise your feast day. He hate and despise Thanksgiving. Read it again. I hate, I despise your feast day. He hate and despise Valentine's Day. Read it again. I hate, I despise your feast day. He hate and despise the 4th of July, Independence Day, St. Patrick's Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. He despise and hate America's feast days. I didn't say that. That came out the Bible. How the hell can you be in the Christian church for 25, 35, 45 damn years and not know that God hate the holidays of America? That's right. How can you not know that? That's right. How? Unbelievable! Thank your Christian church preachers, them homosexual whores for the white man. Any law, DJs, Crepe Dollar, Al Sharpie, the holy homosexual Pope Francis, and the unhonorable Sinister Farrakhan. Thank them for not teaching you these laws, man. Read from the top. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. You will not smell in our solemn assemblies. I Meaning you will not smell that ham, smell that turkey, smell them collard greens, smell that gravy. He's not going to smell in the solemn assembly. You know why? Because it's an abomination. It's against God. God never said to follow Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. God never said to follow a satanic holiday that's based off the Irish, the Druids, man, which was the Celtics, man. That's what it's based off about. Halloween, they said in history that Halloween is New Hallows Eve, man. I mean, that's the day that the border between life and death is destroyed and where spirits walked on the earth. Do you want to know why that America celebrates Halloween? Because that's the Roman culture. The Romans worship that, man. And the Roman Catholic Church wanted to keep that. That's wrong with the Roman Catholic Church. When God say not to celebrate holidays, eat unclean foods, the Christian, the Roman Catholic Church and the Christian Church compromise. Let's celebrate it. It's all good. Eating, eating ham turkey on Thanksgiving is good. Going to a stranger house, now that's some damn hypocrisy. How the hell can you tell your children to not go to a stranger's house and talk to strangers, but on a night that is so satanic, you dress him as a damn demon and you gonna get candy for a damn child molester. A pedophile, man. Come on. Let's use some common sense in America. The white man is such a damn idiot. Come on. And you can take that to your pastor, your preacher, and your Muslim boss. All of them are such damn idiots. Teach you to worship a satanic philosophy. Damn right I said it. I didn't stutter. The white man is satanic. He's the devil the boss speaks up. Read on, brother. Though ye offer me burnt offerings. Though we offer him the burnt offering, that ham, that turkey. Though we offer it thinking that the Lord loves it. Read on. And your meat offerings. And your meat offerings. Read on. I will not accept them. You will not what? I will not accept it. He will not what? Will not accept it. I thought God was about all love. He said out of his own mouth, I will not accept it. He will not accept that turkey that's based off of the genocide of 77 million Native American Indians. He's not going to accept the feast and the meat offerings based on Christmas. Christmas is based off of Nimrod, man. Do you know who Nimrod is? Nimrod was a Babylonian king, man. And that tree is based off of his
his home was his mother, Ceramuses. When Nimrod died, Ceramuses' his mother told everybody that his spirit will live in that palm tree. Do you know where those ornaments came from on that tree? That's what Ceramuses would say, if you don't give presents to Nimrod, she'll cut your damn head off and hang it on the tree. That's where that ornaments come on from. Like, come on. Now, understand this, the white man teach you that a white obese homosexual comes down your home, comes down your timidity and gives brothers PlayStations and Xbox 360s on holidays. Come on. That sounds retarded. And we're gonna teach our, you're gonna teach our young sisters and young brothers, our daughters and sons, that a man, now last time I checked, the white man said that breaking into somebody's house is called breaking and entering. That's against the law, right? But on Christmas, on December 25th, I guess Santa Claus, he's okay, he can break that law, right? Right, right? Santa Claus can break that law. No wonder why he knows if your child had been naughty or good, he been molesting them. That's why. Freedom. Neither will I regard the peace offers of your fat beast. Christmas, thank you, Captain. Christmas have nothing to do with Christ, man. Christmas have nothing to do with Christ. Christ wasn't born in the winter, man. He was born in the springtime. The town during the Passover, man, in Jerusalem. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Read on, brother. Verse 23. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Neither will he regard the peace offering of your fat beasts, man. Anything that you give to the Lord and they say to the car day, he's not going to accept, man. He is not going to accept it. Give me 2 Kings. Chapter 17, verse 17, man. Let me show you how satanic Halloween is, man. We don't understand. America's holidays is based off abominations that is against the Lord, man. When did the Lord ever say go to somebody's house and say, trick or treat? When did he say that? Show me in the Bible. Come on, Christians. This is for my veteran Christians, man. That think they know God and they know the Bible. Show me in the Bible where he said go to somebody's house, man. That's what the white man tell you. That's what your oppressor told you to do, man. All these hard ass traditions, we are following after our oppressor in America, man. We got our own feast days, man. The Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of Dedication, Hakanika, which is coming December 5th, man. Saturday next month, man. Two months from now. The Passover, when the Lord destroyed the Egyptians, man. We got holidays that are superior over America, man, that we should be celebrating. And it's of the Lord in this Bible. We know. And those are your holidays, man. Nobody else's. You need to understand, this book is not a child, it's not a graphic novel. It's not a comic book. This historical records about a certain nation of people that God chose. Through Genesis to Revelation, it's only talking about blacks and Spanish and their American Indians, man. But you'll never learn that in the Christian church. You'll never learn that in the Roman Catholic Church, which is why that should tell you to leave out of that whorehouse, man. Read on, brother. Second Kings 17 and 17. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire. We caused our sons and daughters to pass through the fire. What is that fire, man? What's that fire in America, man? The hell in America, man. Customs and traditions, that's that fire. You know why it's that fire? Because it burns us, man, it kills us, man. All these customs and philosophies turn us away from not following the Lord, man. You don't love your brother. You, you, don't, you don't stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster on Halloween and Thanksgiving. You don't stop eating unclean food, stop being a homosexual and lesbian on Valentine's Day. You don't do that, man. Read on. And use divination and enchantments. And use divinations and enchantments, man. Lies, deceitments, and spells, man. That's where enchantments are. You know where enchantment is? What's the number one enchantment on this earth? Christianity. God loves everybody. Christ died for everybody. We are all equal. We should love everybody. That's a damn enchantment. That's how my chant. Christ said, I am not sent but go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the divinations and enchantments. What else? What's the enchantment of Halloween? Trick or treat. That's an enchantment for your children. 
You teach your children to go to strangers' houses and ask strangers for candy. You don't even know if that stranger might have some sort of drug in that joke. Drug your child might kidnap them and mess them. You don't know that. You don't know what happened on Trick or Treat. There is an investigation underway as some trick-or-treaters are finding needles in their Halloween candy. Uh, you can see in a picture here what looks like to be sewing needles inside five Twix and Snickers bars. They were wrapped, we are told. Police in a Philadelphia suburb say they were given to at least four different children on Halloween night. The candy and packaging is now being examined. In all my time here, which is 17 and a half years, no, I've never taken a report for candy being tampered with. They're going to that extreme to hurt children. What else is going on? So there are no reports of injuries. That's the good news. But police in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, urging all parents to check the candy of the kids that they brought home this week. And with all the black missing children, right. how in the hell can you start to send your children off for of some right. damn candy? Right. Why don't you just buy your own children the goddamn candy? Right. All these black children, faces all on these on these right. trucks and stuff with black missing children. How in the hell are you gonna send your child out for some goddamn candy, man? Right. Trick or treat. Come on, man. Right. What's wrong with you, black man? What's wrong with you, black woman? Right. Where is that in the goddamn Bible? What does that got to do with raising up a child? First of all, candy, most of these kids don't deserve no goddamn candy. They need discipline. They need morals. They need scruples, man. That's why you got your young brothers out here running around with their pants all the way down and you can see their damn underwear. I remember mean, when I was coming up, women was doing that. Right or wrong? Women was, was showing their panties, man. We done became a disgraceful and shameful people in America, man. We supposed to be a great people. We supposed to be noble. Brothers been put back in the day talking about we come from great kings. You don't know where you come from, black man. That's why you call yourself a black man. That's why you call yourself an African. That's why you call yourself an African American. Because you really don't know who the hell you are. You done went from nigga all the way up to colored, all the way up to black American, to Afro American, to African American. You the only people that change your name like people change their coats in the wintertime. You ain't even recognize it. Where the hell do Halloween come from? What's the origin of Halloween? Is it of God? Is it righteous? You don't even go and find out. You don't do no research on anything. America tell you anything. America done told you to accept homosexuality. And told you that it's just a, a normal way of life for other people. Or an alternative lifestyle. And you say, you know what? You can be whatever you want to be. Hell no. Not my sons, not my daughters. Hell no. Cannot be no homosexual living up among me. Hell, I ain't going for it. A man is going to be a man and a woman is going to be a woman. He's shaking the head. The white man shaking his head. No, that ain't how it should be. I know. I know. Because you want to twist everything around, man. Have us thinking that we women and have the women thinking they men. That is opposite. That is against God, man. The white man is totally 100% against God. And you think I want to join him? I want to join somebody that goes against God laws? Hell no. Because when God comes for this white man, it's going to be a terrible sight. That's what you don't understand, black man, black woman. The God of Israel. That's what God, not the God of this world. Because there's many gods. There's many gods. There's only one God. And that's the God that killed the firstborn of Egypt. That's the only God that killed all the cities of the homosexuals that was living amongst Sodom and Gomorrah. What you think America going? What America think that God going to do when He start to rain power? I mean, uh, to rain warfare on America? If He destroyed all the homosexuals in Sodom and Gomorrah, what you think about America? Right. And how America destroyed us, man? Remember, we running around talking about Black Lives Matter. I remember when I was coming up, you was talking about justice, no peace. Now I was talking about black lives the, uh, matter. And you just seen a cop just toss a young sister, a child, toss her. And then you want to run around with a sign? Now God going to destroy the white man, man. My prayer is to God. My prayer ain't to the white man. My, 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 my supplication or, or begging is not to America. I don't want America's justice. Because I don't see America's justice, man. America's justice is the white man, he get to go scot free. Right. Meanwhile, the mother starts to cry right. and she go through depression right. because her child been killed. That's America's justice, man. 
black man, you don't have no sense of justice. There's something happened to white people. They start a war. When them towers fell, guess what? Iraq got bombed. Afghanistan got bombed. That's what white people, white people go and seek justice. A Negro, he runs around and smile with a sign talking about no justice, no peace. And got white people right among his own march. And he's supposed to be marching against America. So how in the hell can I march against America and I'm joining hands with the same people that I'm arguing and want justice for? That don't make no goddamn sense. You might as well just hold hands with the Ku Klux Klan. Right. And say no justice, no peace with the Ku Klux Klan. That's right. Like you're so goddamn deceived because these white people in your hood, they smile in your goddamn face and you smile back. The neighborhood got better. No, nah, hell no. Situate. What would you say, brother? Say it again, brother. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. At least some brothers is waking up. Some brothers ain't rock to sleep. You know what I mean? That's a beautiful sight. And what the brother was bringing out was so heavy, man. We running around. It's and let me tell you something. Halloween for adults is a homosexual party. That's all it is. It's for you so-called niggas to, to dress up as drag queens. That's all it is. The hell I'm gonna run around and dress up for Halloween to goddamn mind. Such a ridiculous goddamn holiday, man. It's the, he all right, he all right, he, white, he ain't gonna do nothing to me. He ain't gonna do nothing to me. He white, he enjoying life. He just want us to be homosexuals and, and drug addicts. Right. So he can keep making money, that's what he hope. Right. He just pissed off that every black man ain't a drug addict. That's, that's all right. he pissed off with. That's right. He hate to, America hate to see strength in a black man, man. That's right. You don't understand. Right. White people hate, they hate to see strength. They love to see a brother out of his goddamn mind right. with his pants hanging down. Right. That's what he want. He want all of us to be homosexuals, man. That ain't gonna happen. God ain't gonna allow it. That's right. Give the cap that hand, man. Give the cap that hand, man. Read that again. Read that scripture again. Read it. Second Kings 17 and 17. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire. We're not even. When I days I work hard on the job. Till I come cross shop. Cross shop. Still like I'm a criminal. I'm a criminal. Rhyme again, coke. It could be your first choice. Like, man, you ain't getting the man to mom. You ain't gonna dip, dip, squat, squat. Fire my run. run. Push, pull, sit on. Goddamn, get damn. strong. Uh -huh. Looking at my baby. Trying to keep them doing wrong. It's too long before they grow. I can't leave them on their own. Uh -huh. They killed daddy like he had a 30 day cake. The news covering up the story for what they say. It took me back to the time we lost Otis. Smile, man. Who?